Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Alice and this channel is called Alice's Life. Uh, I recently did a larger question haul, I spent a lot of money, bought a lot of stuff, so I'm really keen to get going and show, share with you what I purchased. So at the moment I do not own my own horse or pony, but for the last year, since September 2020, I have been part loaning a pony nearby so I go and ride him about two or three times a week. So that's who I'm buying all these things for. The main reason why I had to go shopping was to buy a skull cap to go and do cross country. At the moment, I use a peaked hat for general schooling and hacking, which you are not allowed to use for cross country because it's, you could break your neck or something. So I needed to go and purchase a skull cap riding hat. So I got the Charles Owen new limited edition this esme hat um my current hat is 56 centimeters so i was expecting to go for the same size but my end head ended up being 55 centimeters so i'm really pleased that i did not order online and i actually went to get it tested and she fitted it all and it fits properly because i didn't want to get a severe head injury going to do cross country so it comes in this charles owen bag and it is this grey colour called graphite. It's got this leather look harness. But the thing I'm not so keen on is it's got this. This bit's not padded. Because uh, usually hats, I don't know, it just looks a bit cheap here. But then if I was to go up to the four star hat, that'll be an extra £100. So I suppose I should be okay with this. But a good thing is that the liner is removable so you can wash that to stop it getting so sweaty yeah so this is the JS1 Pro hat it has 10 ventilating bits and this nice Charles Owen logo so I think it kind of looks a bit more expensive than it actually is because it has this whereas the standard hat does not have that so this was about £84 but it came with the free this Esme uh, hat silk with ventilated bits and it's baby blue so at the back of the hat silk it's got this logo and this is what it looks like. I probably am not going to use this hat silk but I've got a navy one. So I purchased this when I was about 10 for £10 because the label is still inside. But anyway I'm going to wear this hat silk. Like that for my cross country go i'm gonna be like that pull this down i think that looks quite smart yeah only 84 pounds so i'm so pleased i did not end up paying 210 pounds or something because i've been there's a really sh severe shortage of riding hats due to uh problems getting materials because of coronavirus so i'm pleased i got a hat there it is. In that shop I also purchased this comb from Stable Kit. It's just a long simple purple comb and it cost £1. And I also bought this Car and Day and Martin Bellevue Tack Conditioner. It's 250 grams and it's really good for cleaning tack. It's a good old traditional product that people have used for decades and decades and I've used for a very long time. Then I went on over to the next shop and I bought quite a few things. Oops. So the first thing that I picked up was this Shires Performance GP saddle cloth. It is the size 15 inches to 16 and a half inches. The pony saddle is actually 16 and a half so I don't want to go any bigger. So I think the next size up will be up to 18 and a half inches. So hopefully this fits, but I'm not going to take the label off. I think it will be okay. Anyway, I like it's reinforced here and it's this nice purple plum colour, which when I bought it, I was wearing this polo shirt and they actually are the same colour, which I'm proud of or pleased with. Um, and I like that underneath it's got this wicking fabric in black which also will hide the dirt a bit 
Yeah, so all in all, a really nice sailor cloth, and that was about £28. Oops. Then I also needed a new pair of riding socks. So I got these Lee Mucks, um, two pairs of competition socks, and they were £14. I like that they're thin, because I wear long riding boots now. And they're in the size medium, which fits sizes four to seven and a half. So the bottom bit's grey, this bit's navy, bottom bit is more reinforced. So I'm really excited to start wearing those ones. And then I needed to purchase a new pair of winter riding gloves. I thought I might as well now, even though it's not actually cold enough yet, but it's going to get cold soon. Might as well add it to this haul. So these are the Rockout Warwick four-way power stretch wind resistant gloves with a silicone grip here i'm really pleased with them i tried them on in the shop and these are the size eight so in the chester gloves i wear eight and a half but nine was too large in these ones so i went with the eight really nice insulated polar tech hopefully they'll keep my hands warm enough i read all the reviews they do seem very good they were £30, which is a bit... No, so I suppose it's okay for a pair of gloves. And then the last thing I purchased was a bag of Spearmint Spillers Treats. So they're like little nuggets. Quite healthy, I suppose. Well, the main ingredient is grass. So they are. So that was £3.50, and I think you'll enjoy those. Okay, so that is it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or video suggestions, leave them below. And bye.